X-Men 97 Season 1 is set to premiere sometime this year on Disney+. Plus. They don't have an official date set, I believe, but it has been announced that it will premiere sometime in 2023. Unless it gets delayed, like, you know, a couple of other Marvel projects has been delayed. But before Season 1 even comes out, apparently Season 2 is already being worked on. And that's according to Wolverine voice actor Cal Dodd. And uh, this is what the voice actor posted on a now deleted tweet. <laughs> he stated, quote, Yesterday, studio, season two, great session. And... And then he put uh, the beginning of season two. I say just the beginning. Strap your seatbelts on, bub. Later. And uh, again, as I stated before, he deleted that Twitter post. So there you have it. They already have, or at least they're already working on a season two before season one ends. And this one will be very interesting to see how it turns out. Uh, odds are it's going to be trash because it's Disney. I mean, you look up a number of the people working in, you know, the behind the scenes positions on top levels. I mean, you look up their social media posts and they've been spewing their typical woke tardedness. Now, I know Bo DeMaio, who is uh, a head writer on this show, is probably giving people some confidence because, you know, he was the one who called out the Witcher and the people behind the scenes for having utter contempt towards the show. And he promised that you had to love the project that he was going to work on. And, and again, he ended up working on this X-Men 97. But again, you look up both DeMaio's social media posts, you know, he was right alongside with them just spewing woke tarted talking points especially when it came to the witcher and all the race swapping that was taking place in that world you know and, and he was defending it and justifying it like a typical pro blackly whack so again just because Bo DeMaio made these recent comments about people working behind the scenes with the witcher He's really not that much different from him. And again, he too is working at a top level on this show. Now, if you're not familiar with X-Men 97, it is said to be a direct sequel to the X-Men, the animated series, which ran on Fox Kids Network for five seasons from 1992 to 1997. Thus, the title X-Men 97. And the fact that they are making this a sequel to that show, uh, justifiably, there's a lot of high expectations. And I'm sure <laughs> they're going to disappoint. Because we know what Disney does. And especially with something like X-Men, where they can dig all around into the dynamic of mutants and humans and try to draw a parallel to, you know, the civil rights movement or some uh, systematic oppression, racism type narrative. I mean, again, they've already been been pushing that lie about how Magneto and Malcolm, and how Magneto and Malcolm X and Professor X and Martin Luther King are like the same characters. You know, even though that theory was dispelled by the creators of those characters. You know, and Stan Lee. But nonetheless, I'm sure they're still going to push through with that narrative. You know, and you know, pretty much exploit people's enjoyment of the show from the 90s. And to use that to push, you know, the typical identity politics nonsense. I mean, again, see what they've done most recently with that Proud Family reboot. You know, and... When you look at the show from the early 2000s of The Proud Family, it was nothing like that. And so, I fully expect 
what they did with Proud Family in his reboot. I fully expect them to do the same thing with the X-Men in the sequel to the animated series. You know, and as I stated before, you know, out of all the media that's been out there, I have to say if I was an ardent fan of anything, X-Men would have probably one of those things where you could actually call me a fan of. You know, just based on not just watching the shows, but a lot of the uh, merch items that came from that show that I bought or that I got. You know, because I enjoyed the show so much. You know, and I enjoyed the show so so much, I've never really cared for any of the movies. I mean, because my idea was, when well, you have the X-Men, just take what you got from the animated series and make it into live action. And, you know, they never did that at Fox. And since Disney has acquired them, you know, they haven't really been doing nothing outside of introducing Namor and Miss freaking Marvel as the first mutants. So, like, they're your first representatives of mutants in the MCU. You know, and the only familiar one, Professor X, you know, they bring him in just to get killed by Mary Sue WandaVision. So, they're already setting it up of how they're just going to piss and shit on these characters. And, um, we're going to see uh, truly how the X-Men get treated once this uh, series comes out. Which, again, based on the voice actor, they're already working on a season two, but there's never been an official date for this. I mean, the only info that I can see is that the first season is slated to premiere later this year. You know, but, you know, no month is even given for that. So this could very well be one of those things that get delayed anyway. You know, but, you know, time will tell. But again, do not expect them to live up anywhere near close to the animated series that ran for five seasons in the 90s. Because, again, it's about unabashedly pushing ideology for them and not actually entertaining the audience. And based on the people involved and the things that they spewed across social media, uh, clearly they're all on board with pushing ideology over entertainment.